why you are here? Yo, what up, what up? You see, man, Big Brandon Carter. I'm in the gym with a few of my friends. I want to show you this uh, quick upper body workout that I put them through. We're doing about four sets of each exercise, resting only 90 seconds between each set. Rep ranges between eight and 12, but for like this exercise, we're starting with push-ups. I'm doing plyo push-ups, but I'm just going to failure, right? Because with body weight stuff, I typically just go to failure. So I'm just gonna do as many of these as I can do, and I won't stop till I get enough, okay? And then when I'm done with that, when I can do any more clapping, I went directly into push-ups on this bench. And that way it's kind of like a drop set, you know? So it's like, I'm still, that's one set, I didn't rest in between those, okay? And then when I was done, with doing both of those uh, back to back, and then I rested. Now, because she's weaker than me, she's just starting with these just basic push ups while elevated on the bench, and that makes it a lot easier. Same thing for her, you know, she's gonna start with just regular uh, push ups on the bench, you know, it's just easier. And plus, she can get uh, a better range of motion, you know, because them titties won't be in the way. <laughs> like on the, with the bench like they would be on the floor man they would hit the floor before they hit before she can get that good deep range of motion all right so now i'm going i'm just doing pull-ups and i'm you know because i can just do a ton of pull-ups i like to accentuate the negative so i hit failure quicker that's just for me you can do whatever works best for you she can't really do many she can't even get on the goddamn thing by herself because she's she's tiny but, but don't worry you know big brand is gonna take care of it for you so i'm lifting her up and then what i do is this is how you spot somebody with push-ups you don't necessarily lift them by their ankles you let them use their legs or their quads to push themselves up so like you're kind of just holding it there for resistance and they're using their legs to get up instead of you doing a goddamn curl so but yeah, now I'm lifting a little bit, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> and the same thing here. We're just going to failure, but, but it's a little just, she's just kind of weak. So this kind of just turned into a, a fucking front squat for me. So then I just went into overhead press. Just I just grabbed the heaviest goddamn weights in the gym. It's a hotel gym, so you know obviously they only went with the, up to fifties, and I just just banged them out, man. Just banged them out as many as I could do. They, I wasn't even counting reps. They picked rep ranges between about uh, I think they went to like twelve or fifteen with these. So now we're doing another back exercise, uh, bent over rows. We already did pull ups for back, but you know I just believe you gotta. You got to hit it from different positions, all right? If you're just hitting it from one position, then uh, it's, it's going to get boring. It's not going to be as exciting. You're not going to feel it as much unless you hit it from different positions. As you can see, I'm just going to let this rock. You know, you guys know how to do a row, but I just feel like you need to see this. You need to see this. You could watch a million goddamn YouTube videos and not see something this beautiful. Like just right now, just watching it again, like I feel like a tear is about to drop from my eye, man. Just cause the beauty is, <laughs> the beauty is just driving me crazy. It's real important to get, to hit it from both directions. All right, so you wanna get both arms, hit it from both sides. All right, so then we went into dips. I could do dips forever, so I had to, I just put the, the heaviest weight in the gym on my lap and just knocked out as many as I could. I didn't, I, I obviously was like, this is still kind of like, it's body weight, but I added more resistance, but I just did as many as I can. Just, I put, oh, that's nothing. I put my leg up to increase the resistance. Now, what they did, they kept their legs on the floor and just didn't add any weight and they just did, just did them like that. That's something you can just do. You see what you're doing? And that's fine for someone who's not as strong. And then I went into biceps after this. Instead of, instead of regular curls, I did was what I call Carter curls. I don't know if I invented this shit or not. But what, so I keep one at the top the whole time in order to keep uh, more tension on, on the bicep. So instead of resting at the bottom, with traditional curls, you rest at the bottom. With these, I keep constant tension on the bicep. No, it doesn't the other one any rest. Hold that there. Then put the first one down. Why are you holding it? Then put it back up. Now put the 
This is why you keep constant tension on the, on the muscle instead of letting it rest at the bottom with traditional curls. Only moving this up. Hold it and this one up. Hold it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then put it back up. Then put it back up. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So one is always up. When you do traditional girls curls, one is always down. But when you do that you rest mm -hmm. the, this the bicep rest, this time you keep constant tension on the muscle. So that was basically the workout again. Four sets of each exercise. Um, for the body weight stuff I went to failure. For the weighted stuff, I, I I did higher reps, you know, about between eight and twelve. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it.